Hi everybody and welcome to the second video of our Blender 2.80 Absolute Beginners course and in this video we'll be learning how to select objects and a little bit more about this left menu here. So selecting things in Blender is right now pretty straightforward because you just have to press the left mouse button once you point over an object and that's basically it. Obviously when you hold uh, shift key and left click around you will select multiple objects so the selected object has this little uh, orange outline around it and yeah and holding the shift key allows you to select multiple objects uh, in this menu on the left as you can see we have the first item selected which is the select box when I hold my left key, I have those multiple uh, options here, uh, here available. So when I select the first one, and when I hold my left mouse button key after clicking it, nothing actually happens. So I can just uh, left click and select objects right now. But once I select the this box tool, and hold my left mouse button, as you can see, uh, I will have this this boundary and I can now select multiple objects so when I do this box around those two th items here I have them selected when I hold uh, shift key right now and just left click here I can add this box to the selection I can also hold my shift key and do those boundaries and select objects this way when I select the circle tool, this works a little bit different. Uh, when I just hold my left mouse button and kind of paint around the 3D viewport, I'm, I'm doing my selection. And the thing is when I left click it right now, nothing happens. So when I also do the right click, nothing happens. So I would have to switch to the other tool in order to deselect. And yeah, and you also have a select lasso, so you can left click and draw your selection like this. So, uh, multiple selection options. Um, a shortcut to this video would be an A key. So when you press A, you can see everything selects automatically. And when you press A uh, twice, like very quickly, you deselect everything. So this is also pretty handy. So A again selects everything and double A uh, deselects everything. Um, one thing I want to show you in this video as well are those icons here. So let's say when I click uh, move tool, right? Uh, nothing actually happens here because they are activated only when I have my selection visible. So you can see with my box selected, uh, something changes around and we call this thing a gizmo. And this is, uh, I would call it uh, a helper in our viewport that allows us to do some very basic operations with the selected objects. You can see, oh uh, yeah, uh, I'm by mistake I, I pressed the 3D cursor things, but I will describe it a bit later. But just keep in mind, 3D cursor is around here as well. And when you have it selected and left click around the scene, it just follows you. Uh, but again, I will explain this this uh, tool a little bit later. But again, when we move back to the gizmos and we have anything selected, you can see uh this 3d representation changes so we have those little uh squares here in in this case when you have a rotation we will get those arches when we click transformation we have all of those items combined so when i have scale again we, we can see those boxes and in the next video, I'll be explaining what these actually do. Uh, a final shortcut to this video would be uh, centering our 3D viewport around the selection. So let's say I have this object selected and now I want to 
uh, have it centered in my 3D viewport, but once I zoom in, it kind of, and, and press the middle mouse button, it kind of gets away from my viewport. So you can see the rotation point for my 3D space is somewhere, like the, 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 the point it rotates around, right? Is somewhere around here. And I would like to rotate around my selected objects. So let's say I have this box selected. I want to rotate around it, but after I zoom in, it kind of gets gets out of my way. So you can press a dot button on your mouse uh, on your numpad. So this will uh, center the view around your selection. And if you don't have a mouse pad, you don't have to worry about it because uh, this shortcut is available in here as well. And you can see the shortcut descriptions uh, here. So for example, we have those two objects selected. We would like to have them perfectly aligned to the uh, viewport center. You just click here and it's, it's happening. So with numpad again it's m much quicker in my opinion but if you don't have access to the numpad you can you can always uh, click your options here uh, you also have a local view tool in here which works very similar to uh, frame selected and the difference is it automatically hides everything you don't have selected so it makes uh, Sometimes when you have multiple objects in the scene and you just want to focus on one one object, it makes things much more uh, helpful. But I personally not use don't use it that often. I just stick to this uh, tool much, 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 much more often uh, when I when I work with Blender. So again, uh, a dot key on the numpad. And yeah, and again. I know if you're new to Blender, this might be a little, <laughs> quite a lot to learn <laughs> just in the second video, but yeah, uh, feel free and, and just, just play around with those very, very basic operations, those very basic tools. And in the next video, I will show you how to do the basic trans transformations on the objects. So see you in the next video.